everybody. This is Dave Petrie, Solutions Architect for UMA. And uh, people are always asking, you know, how difficult is this? This isn't like a normal VoIP system or anything. There's nothing real technical about it. Uh, UMA Office is designed as a kind of a do-it-yourself uh, VoIP system for small businesses. So it's super easy. So I figured I'd log in and show you that we are not so intimidated um, by, you know, technology. So I'm going to log in. And I'm going to, I got a couple of changes to make to my own system. So it's actually perfect timing. So you just log into your website. Now remember your, your phone system, your old phone system is replaced with nothing more than a website. You don't need another phone system. It's all internet based and, and you just kind of go to a website and make changes here. So um, I wanted to make a change to my virtual receptionist. Virtual receptionist is the, you know, you, I'm sure you've called a million businesses that have this. It's, you know, thank you for calling, press one for sales, two for, you know, finance, whatever. So um, this is an optional thing for you to either use when people call into your business or maybe if it's rang four or five times and uh, no one's answered, you want this to kick in so that, uh, you know, people aren't frustrated. So um, that's what virtual receptionist is. So let me log into mine, and I wanted to add um, a new extension that I just added for um, onboarding training group. So we got a specific group for people to call in if they, you know, forgot how to do something or need a little help. They walk them through it. So I wanted to add that to my own personal um, virtual receptionist. So all you do is you click on it, and I've got it set to text to speech. So you literally just type what you want it to say. And then uh, I've got it set for a male, you know, U.S. voice, but you've got all these different choices. You've got to have a British lady or whatever. Um, Spanish, if you do a Spanish one, which I did uh, for later. But I wanted to add right here, I wanted to put for, or if you are an existing client and need further training, Please press three. For all the calls, press zero, blah, 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 blah. That's all we need, right? So I'm going to save that. And then, so you told them press three for more training, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on number three. And Uma is going to say, what do you want to happen when they hit three? Well, I want it to go to this other extension, right? Which is the onboarding people. And then hit save. And that's it, you're done. So all you have to do, type in what you wanted to say, make sure this is congruent with what you're telling people to do, and that is it for your virtual receptionist. Now you can set holiday hours, set a schedule, um, have different after hours stuff, but overall that's pretty much as easy and basic as it gets. So now for each extension, let me show you a couple things. So this is my extension, I've got a few more, I've got a receptionist phone and things like that, but for the most part this is me here and you would do this for your different employees you know when somebody leaves a voicemail or sends a fax what email address do they want it to go to um, this is where you set here's my direct my direct phone number so if you want to bypass the virtual reception so that they can call me direct here's my virtual fax so if somebody faxes to this number it gets emailed to me Here's my outbound caller ID. I want my virtual receptionist number to be my outbound caller ID. So when people call me back, it's you know it sounds official and all that. And I prepended 916 so that um, I call a lot of 916 numbers and I don't want to have to hit 916 all the time. So I just kind of preset 916. So when I only hit seven digits, the system knows, oh, he must be calling a 916 number. Okay. Now this is pretty cool. So for devices, I've got the mobile app that I just turned on, I gotta enable it on my cell phone, which I haven't done yet, but I'll do that on another video. I've got an external line, and then I've got my IP phone. So this is typically my, my desk phone, right? So if you want to program your desk phone, all you do is click here. Here's a picture of the kind of phone I have. Yep, I have this phone here. I can do programmable buttons, like you literally just tell it what you want the you know soft keys to do when you hit it. I got a couple of different pages. So you just click on that, 
say I want that to extension monitor, you know, one of my coworkers or whatever. That'll tell me like when they're on the phone and I can transfer straight to them and all that. You know, what target am I going to, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not going to do it right now, but you get the idea. You just program it right here. Super simple. Extension monitoring is awesome, um, especially for the receptionist because they can see when other people are on the phone. And also that works even on the wireless app. So there's a smartphone app that you download that syncs your cell phone with your desk extension. And what's cool with extension monitoring is that actually will show, even if you're standing in line at McDonald's, if you're using the app and you're talking to a client or whatever, the receptionist can still see that you're on the phone and transfer people straight to your voicemail or whatever. It's pretty amazing, actually. Band settings, you know, I won't get into all that. It's pretty easy. So that's how you deal with extensions. So virtual receptionist extensions, um, every extension gets a conference bridge, so you can add a conference server right here. Um, you can have sub-menus, all this other kind of stuff. It's, it's all pretty point-and-click, kind of paint-by-numbers. So another thing I want to show you is a dashboard. Everybody will have access to their own dashboard, where here shows all my calls that I made today, any faxes that I, that I got or, or sent today. All shows up here. I can make a call straight out of my computer. I can send a fax straight out of my computer, etc. And then you can view all these call logs. And this is actually really cool for, say, if you're a lawyer or a consultant or something like that. This lists out all your calls. If you have billable time, this lists out all your calls. You can search by a specific number or person, and then it'll list them all out so that you can bill out your time properly. And if you've enabled uh, call recording, which I have just on this one extension that I did for a demo. Um, you can listen to the actual calls, and down here you can download them all to your computer. You can download all your recordings to your computer. It's all right here for you to do with as you please. So pretty sweet. Now, um, covered settings. Uh, there's a couple other things actually. I wanted to cover the system. Well, actually, let me first do this. Phone numbers. You got all these phone numbers. You know, say you want a, a, a new number. A um, little while ago, I, I added, you know, another regular phone number. I wanted a 209 number because we've got a Stockton area that doesn't have presence, and so I wanted to have a 209 area code. And you can assign it to wherever you want. It says, Uma asks, where do you want it to go? I want it to go to wherever. I'm going to go to my virtual receptionist. And you just hit save, and boom. Now that phone number is going to go straight to that same virtual receptionist that I already built. Easy peasy. You can literally add a number in about 30 seconds. And there's a bunch of other stuff I won't get into, but what is cool is the system itself. Here's where you put, all right, what music do you want on hold? Um, call blocking is really cool. I can block anonymous numbers. Or this I've got enabled, I can block suspected spammers. So there's a list of about 2 million um, spammer calls and any of those phone numbers that they know is an actual scam or a spammer, those get blocked before they even get to you so you don't you know, get all those robocalls and all that stuff. And you can actually build your own list if you want to, other phone numbers that you want to block, you can do it all here. Intercom and paging, uh, you can literally intercom each other whether people are in the same office or they can be on the other side of the world, doesn't matter. You can actually intercom each other, which is cool. Call recording, I've got enabled uh, on the system and then you have to go into each user and decide if you want to record every call or if you just want to hit star 52. If you want to record a call, you can do that. Um, text messaging on the app, you can text message to every extension, which is really cool. Multi-site support. Um, pushing out the company directory to everybody, shared speed dial, that kind of stuff. It's all right here, super easy to build the system the way you want it. And then if you need to add another extension, go down here, pick a phone, click on the phone. It asks, do you have an extension you want to send this to or is it a new user? You say yes. Boom. The phone gets shipped to you already pre-programmed. You literally just plug it in the internet and you're off and running. It is the simplest thing in the world to do. As you can see, this is basically built for do-it-yourself. Um, you don't need an IT guy. You don't need to assign MAC addresses or provision all this other stuff. It's, it's really, really simple. So that is about it for now. 
I'll make some more specific videos for more specific things, but that kind of gets you the idea. And uh, we'll go from there. Remember, Uma Office is always contract free. So delete whoever you want, add whoever you want, whoever you're using at the end of your billing cycle, that's what you're billed to. Super simple. And hopefully that was helpful. So you can see how easy this is. It's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, if you want more information or you want to talk further about it, maybe give it a chance. Um, just comment down below. Also, my email's there. Feel free to email me. I'm uh, happy to talk to you about any other things that uh, it can do. There's a lot of neat stuff that I haven't uh, shown yet. I will do some more videos uh, after this on some specific features and uh, even the UMA Connect, the internet access that we have and all that. A lot of really neat stuff. Um, but again, feel free just to comment and, uh, and I'll reach out to you. Okay, talk to you later.